to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Roses. Moses and Mary's daughter-in-law, married to Mike. Um, I would like to call up my sister Coretta. She's gonna give some acknowledgments. And thank you all for coming again. Coretta, come take the mic. We are happy to have you here. I got the Prevost family. Uh, we are at 18468 Prevost, and I got made, I got the Mims, to my second family, Miss Brown, who shot me, uh, Marcus, Miss Posey, and her friend. We happy to have you. We got my other family with Tanika, Daryl. We happy to have y'all here. And I know my dad was super excited to see Jim. I know that is his man. My father said, if anything happened, y'all called Jim. <laughs> you don't call nobody else. You called Jim. Uh, so I want to say a couple things about my father. He's the best father in the world. But he got some tendencies about him. Uh, him and Mary, they've been married 54 years. And uh, I know people wonder how long, how do they stay together that long? And it's because they are funny. I moved into my first apartment and I had a critter in my house. A critter, that's what I'm calling it. And, um, and I said, I got some in my house. And they said, ooh, you got to move out of there. And so I said, I'm gonna move, I'm gonna move. So Valentine's Day came around and my dad has always been good and making sure I have Valentine's Day card and candy. Now, Valentine's Day come around, of course I get a card. I get money in the card. But what's on the card is the problem. These two were so excited about me getting this card. Did you see the card? I said, I saw the card. My father, did you see the card? I said, I saw the card. Daddy. These two, oh, oh, I got the card. I said, I got the card. On the card was two mice that said, Happy Valentine's Day. <laughs> does that to their own child. Those two do that to their own child. Now there are some more stories about Moses and Mary. Now they are, they, when they get into an argument, my father just listens to my mother. She just go, 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 go. And my father just sit there and it's about 25 minutes in and he gets, it's like he got a time clock. And he say, that's enough Mary. <laughs> And my mother, just to end it on a good note, says, well, that's all I'm saying. I've just said it. That's all I'm saying. To describe Moses, he always smells so good. I don't know what kind of cologne he wore, but he always smells so good. And he was always one sharp guy. <laughs> describe Moses in one word. Generous. Well, to describe Moses, I would describe him, I know Moses through Mary, because me and Mary work together, that um, I would rather describe him as a wonderful guy. I would say stoic. A leader. Incredible. If you a great uncle, you sweet as pie. Call me some time. Beautiful. He's a, a very beautiful person, very humble. Very laid back. Mm -hmm. um, he cool. He, he reminds me cool. so much of Granddaddy. And yeah. him with that, the mannerism of being just so laid back and open, like you could just talk to him about anything. So it's like a blessing. How would you describe Moses in one word? Unbelievable. Uh, super. Super. Phenomenal. Phenomenal. Super. Phenomenal. Bring my uh, the oldest one up. I'm the youngest one, the cutest one, the smartest one. I'm gonna bring up the oldest one, Andre. Well, first of all, I'd like to thank everybody for coming out and uh, enjoying this grateful day with us. They have a family. Um, I don't know where to start. I got really not. I get I get too emotional and all that. I just like to thank my mother and father for raising us. I like to say. One particular thing, they never, nothing in our house ever got cut off. There was always food in our refrigerator. Our clothes was always clean. And they always treated us with respect. And that's something that every household and every family in America should 
aspire to be. Thank you. Next up, I'm going to bring up the middle child, who has a middle complex. That's all right. We don't worry about him. Uh, bring up Michael Evans. Uh, Andre said respect. I don't remember that. Because um, this is how it goes in my household. Sunday morning. Get your ass up. I said, where are we going, church? I said, wait a minute. That don't go together. <laughs> but they... My father and my mother, uh, uh, as Andre said, beautiful people. They uh, always were caring. And you don't understand it until you get older. But our household was where everyone came. If you first moved up from Mississippi, you came and stay there. Get on your feet, you move out. Next, next, next people come in. Joe stayed with us. Uh, Doc used to stay with us while he was in med school. Odie only stay with us too much, but Odie always had beer, so he can always come over anytime he wants. <laughs> <laughs> and we had Larry and the rest of the crew, Robert Earl and the cousins. But you, you understand what family means, and through that, you learn how to be a father and what it takes to be a man in this world. And then from a mom, she always was the supporter. No matter what you did, how much you did it, it always is gonna be all right, baby. God will see you through. You, uh, you respect the fact that you have a mom and dad, but you honor the fact that you have somebody that care for you and always there for you. I appreciate you. God bless you. I marry you one word. Uh, let me see. Calm, cool, and collective. I can remember them barbecuing on the side of the house because I lived next door. But boy, the stories I got to tell her about that house. <laughs> if I get a chance, the stories I got to tell. Describe Mary. Oh, she's sweet. Sweet, sweet, sweet lady. Yeah, I'll say the same thing. So. Okay. That was fake. Congratulations. Oh, she cool breeze. She cool breeze. She has always been as sweet as ever since I was a little girl. And I will always love my auntie Mary. And uh, how would you describe Mary? Very patient. <laughs> and she was quiet and she went along with whatever he said. <laughs> how would you uh, describe yeah. Mary? Oh, Mary is beautiful. That's my favorite sugar. Sugar. Sure. Because <laughs> she's so sweet. That's my favorite so sugar. Sugar. Yeah, sure. Okay. And how would you describe Mary? Oh, Mary, now I would describe her as one of the nicest, kindest person you can meet. Oh, Mary. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> All right, now that was beautiful by Mike. I was touched. She had tears. Uh, I do remember my mother waking us up. I never one Sunday. Me and Mike, Mike woke me up. Mike said, Coretta, mama overslept. I said, she overslept. He said, she overslept. And we came down, well, I came from my room. He woke me up and we went into the, into the kitchen and she was making pancakes. And we said, Mike said, ha ha, you over slept. She said, ha ha, the clock is turned back an hour. What kind of foolishness is this? All right, now I'm bringing up the oldest grandchild, the one who's taking all the video pictures. Um, you didn't know you was doing this? Nobody told you this? Well, roll with the punches, brother. Hey, how's everybody doing? I honestly really didn't know I was going to be up here, so um, you got to bear with. I'm not the Joker like Uncle Mike and Coretta and my dad. Um, but to talk about my grandparents, Mama and Papa, that's how I've always known them. I just recently found out they're Moses and Mary. Oh, that's a joke. Um, but no, I've known Mama and Papa my whole life. Um, you got you just you got to get knackered because this is about to be tear jerky. Um, so. I've always flown up here to Michigan in the summertime. 
uh, to stay with them at their house. And Uncle Mike would steal me away and we'd go on great adventures in his Jeep Cher Cherokee while he played Houdini. And we're just, uh, we'll blast, what was it, One Love? So it was great. And friends. But Mama would always buy a plane ticket for me to fly up here so I could see all of my family on this side here in Michigan. Because usually I resided down there in Texas. And because of her, I grew a relationship with my little brother. And because of knowing my little brother, I know my little sister. And so, one thing I've learned, and I really cherish about my mom and papa, is uh, <laughs> that they're very, they're very strict, but they're very loving. They always cared about your future and what you're gonna do with it. Um, there was one summer, you guys, if you're part of the family, you know this, I got in trouble because I stole it from Six Flags, right? Well, when I came up here, literally the next day, Mama and Papa made me write, I will not steal 150 times every day for the rest of the summer. <laughs> One thing about that is, I did learn a lesson, and the second thing is, my handwriting improved very much. <laughs> I wish, in the future, that um, my relationship with whoever I choose is as strong as you guys. I hope that my grandchildren will love me as much as I love you, and uh, that I have as many friends as you guys do. Maybe like 10 more, you know, it's all right. And um, with that, let's give it back to Greta because she caught me on guard, but yeah. Now, what you don't know about Breland is he worked at Whole Foods. <laughs> and I'll never forget this experience. Breland came out of work, he sat in the car, and my mama said, you see all them baskets out there? You get them baskets. Breland said, I'm off work. I don't care what you are. You get them baskets. See what kind of foolishness is that? Okay, now I will be bringing up DeAndre. Come on up, young man. All right. <laughs> How y'all doing? All right. Doing all right? Um, like, really? I didn't know I was coming up here. I kind of figured, though, when she said your name, I was like, all right, I'm next. <laughs> all right. And then I talked to my sister. I was like, you want to come up here with me? She said, I don't know about that. You know, it's the first time in front of everybody. I was like, okay. So um, with that being said, I hope everybody had a good time enjoying themselves. Um, me speaking is pretty easy. I'm not afraid to speak in front of people. I do this a lot. So with that being said, um, giving thanks to Mama and Papa for this beautiful, beautiful opportunity to come together as a family and um, all this opportunity to actually enjoy ourselves. So with that being said, um, a memory, I guess I can say, I was telling Breland <laughs> when we was younger, um, I didn't like peace at all. I don't know if you guys like peace. I didn't like peace. And my mom actually came in. She was cooking. And she was like, okay, baby, you're, you're going to have peas here, okay? And Breland's going to have peas, <laughs> okay? You guys got to eat all your peas in order to go ahead and take a shower and go play the game. I was like, Breland, listen, bro. I give you whatever I got in my toy chest, and you just eat this piece. <laughs> it gave me the hardest time. Like it was, it was like a rough 10, 15 minutes, and I literally like smushed them a little bit, kind of made like I ate most of them, and kind of pushed the rest to the side, and gave like one to Breland, but it didn't work out. She still made me eat them. Um, but with that being said, as far as Papa, I, I love him to death. Um, he he always stays in contact with me for sure. On uh, like I say, t twice a month. Um, you know, you usually call me and uh, give me a Bible verse and a scripture to read. I'm pretty sure you guys know about that, for sure. <laughs> That's how you are guys laughing right now. But, uh, you know, I got at least 20 saved. And uh, Greta said I got to keep this to 10 minutes. Yeah. <sighs> I don't know how to make this long enough. But that being said, um, I always enjoy actually going over to their house when I was younger. Especially me, you know, with Breland. Um, like Breland said, we all linked up. And I got a chance to find my sister. I don't know if you're going to bring her up here, but I actually got my sister off Facebook, which is crazy because it was like, what, 17, 16? And we finally found her. It took, you know, a, a long time for that to happen. And uh, I was excited, you know, very emotional, kind of still in a little bit uh, to have her here, to have all of us here, actually. But uh, with that being said, I definitely want to say thank you, and I love you. Yeah, everybody. <laughs> Have a great night. You don't want to come up? You don't want to come up? Oh, you're coming up? All right. She is studying to be a nurse at Oakland University. Uh, so we got doctors and nurses in my family. I'm so grateful for that. And what? I'm talking about health here, Breeden. We're talking about health. Jeez. Hello, everyone. <laughs> 
My name is Deandra. I'm Andre's daughter. I know I don't know a lot of you all, but I'm looking forward to getting to meet you guys. Um, as far as my grandmother and grandpa, I actually met this side of the family when I was 18. And growing up, my mom would tell me, like, you know, you have a dad, his name Andre, and I would talk to him on the phone and stuff like that. He'll send me cards, I'll send him pictures and stuff. And she told me I had a brother whose name was DeAndre. He was born a few months after me. So I was like, oh, okay. So when I was 18, I got a Facebook message from this guy named DeAndre Evans. And he was like, hey, I'm your brother. And I was like, hey. <laughs> So we actually met up, um, it was like around the 4th of July weekend, and ever since then we've been getting to know each other. So as far as grandpa and grandma, they will always like send me cards, like congratulations when I graduated, or send me happy birthday cards, it's like they never missed a beat. And I always be like, oh, let me call them. So when I would call them, they would be like, oh, here's a Bible verse for you. <laughs> and we would just talk, you know, and catch up, and they'll ask me how school was going and stuff of that nature. So it was really cool. and. It's good to meet you all. I know I have a lot of catching up to do, so I always feel like, oh, hi, I don't know. I'm kind of shy, but um, it's always good to see family. Like, I never want to be in the street and walk past you guys. I want to be like, oh, okay, that's my cousin. Hey. Um, hi. <laughs>